What is going on my peeps and welcome back to this week's brand new video. Now firstly I just want to say how happy I am about how well last week's Thanksgiving video went over. You guys always seem to enjoy when there's multiple different recipes in the same video so I will try my best to do more of those in the future. And secondly, if you are an avid YouTube viewer or you follow a lot of YouTubers on Twitter, you will know about the hysteria that's been happening lately with views and sub counts and just general craziness on the website. And I have seen a few of you tweet at me and comment on some of my stuff about it. I just want to let you know that, of course, I'm aware of it. I've been watching it really carefully, actually. Uh, I tweeted about it the other day. And I'm really tempted to make a video about it, which would be so far off course of what I normally do and what I know you guys really come here for. But it's really becoming difficult to stay quiet about some of the stuff I've noticed, so if anything, that video will be out this weekend. Look out for it if you're interested. But anyways, back to the food. Today, we are going to be trying out the cookies and creme brulee, which we can add to our playlist of God knows how many recipes we've done with Oreos involved. I also think I've only ever eaten like a real creme brulee maybe once in my entire life, so this should be interesting. Let's get going. Now, if you would like to give this recipe a try at home, you're gonna need to grab yourself some heavy cream, some Oreos, vanilla extract, eggs, and sugar. And because I don't have as many ramekins as they do in their video, I'm only gonna make half of this recipe. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is tend to your Oreos. I took eight of the cookies and separated them from the creams and the cookie part. Again, this is another one of those useless talents that I've become master at solely from these videos. And once you've got them all separated, you wanna go over to your stove, heat up two cups of heavy cream along with the creams of the Oreos. Now you're gonna to wanna to let this heat up so it starts steaming, but not so it starts boiling. To that, just add a teaspoon of your vanilla extract and whisk that in as well. Moving right along back over to a different bowl, I first threw in three eggs and separated the yolks from the whites, added a quarter cup of white sugar to those and mixed them in together. Now, little by little, you're gonna add your heavy cream mixture, and thanks to you guys, on one of my past videos, I learned that you do this so the eggs don't cook from the really hot liquid. Thank you, everyone who told me that. Now just separate that mixture up into as many ramekins as you have, and top each one of those off with some crushed up Oreo crumbs. Of course, you're either gonna need to crush them in a plastic bag or just throw them in the blender like I did. I find that a lot easier. And once you fill your oven safe pan up about halfway with some hot water, you can throw those in a 300 degree oven for 45 minutes. All you have to do now is take them out of the oven and throw them in the refrigerator for a few hours until they fully set. The finishing touch, which will make these a true creme brulee, you add a few tablespoons of sugar on top of that and then either use a blowtorch or throw them back in the broiler and brown the absolute heck out of that sugar so it forms a hard coating across the whole top. Now I have my red one here that I may or may not have accidentally stuck my finger through the middle of it. Let me just reiterate that I've only ever eaten this like once and it was many years ago, so I, honestly, I don't really know what I'm looking for here, but let's give it a try, I suppose. It's, um, it's not really what I expected. Also, for some reason, there's a little bit of like an oily substance, which you probably saw in the last clip, and I don't know what that is from exactly. It's not bad, it's not fantastic though, it's kind of like sickly after a while. Just imagine like a warm, thickened vanilla pudding with some uh, caramelized sugar on top. I don't know, maybe this is the perfect creme brulee and I'm just being overly critical, but in my opinion, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. But guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but today is December 1st, meaning the holiday season is upon us, which is my favorite time of the entire year. December is just the best month besides my birthday month. So why not take this opportunity to try to redo this recipe, except with a little bit of a holiday themed twist, these peppermint Oreos. You guys pretty much know the whole drill by now. I'm not going to repeat everything. You just wanna separate your Oreos, heat up your cream with the cream of the cookies. This time, of course, the creams were pink, so it turned it color just a little bit. Again, I mixed together my sugar and my eggs and slowly added in that cream mixture. And for a second time, separated that mixture into my ramekins, topped it with some more crushed Oreos, the hot water, and baked them all up. 
After they set for a few hours in the fridge, I took them back out, threw that sugar over top, back in the oven to broil them off, and these look a little bit better than the last ones, I'd say. Let's see if the type of Oreos actually change these at all. Now, of course, there's a very distinct um, pinkish color to the inside, but it was weird because it was kind of separating from the heavy cream as I was trying to heat it up, so um, we'll see. Hmm. It's essentially, obviously, the same thing, just with a hint of candy cane flavor this time. The only difference is that a lot of the Oreo I put on top kind of sank to the bottom, and it's all, like, gummed up down here. I actually like this one a lot better, to be honest. I might actually finish this, so I'm gonna give it a 8 out of 10. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's BuzzFeed test. If you did, hit me up with that big thumbs up. Again, if I do that video at all about the whole YouTube apocalypse drama, it'll come out this weekend. I'm not 100% sure about it though, so I'm not making any promises. But I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your week otherwise, and I'll see you right back here for the next video. Peace.